All right, so my uh, USA wind gen uh, wind generator basically wore out. It's been like two years, and we've had like several really bad storms, and uh, it breached uh, or exceeded um, the capabilities of the wind generator several times. And the wind generator uh, did really well, though. It uh, held together. I was really surprised because um, we had several really bad storms. Uh, one which demolished my greenhouse. So, and the wind generator like lived through all that, like some really fast winds. So I ordered another one. Uh, same thing from uh, like a little 50 water from uh, USA uh, Wind Gen because I was happy with it. They're small, you know, lightweight, nothing to really, you know, write home about. It's only 50 watts, but you know, 50 watts is 50 watts. It's just a, like a trickle charge thing. So I got this in the mail, which was a box this size. And I was like, this is a bit small to be a wind generator. <laughs> but amazingly enough, uh, it is a wind generator. Uh, if you notice, I will, I have two of them because PayPal screwed up and billed me twice and they sent me two. So the people that actually sell these, uh, USA Wingen did not make the mistake, but since uh, they've already both been sent, I decided to keep both of them. And uh, I was kind of like, eh, about the whole thing when I opened it because I like the fact that they changed the way the top of this generator is uh, the actual engine is glued in though right here and I'm not really sure what kind of like what kind of epoxy or resin that is that's holding it in place um, you just basically slide the tail rudder in there and put the screw in it holds it in place the rudder itself is actually smaller than the other rudder because the other rudder was pretty tall it was about that tall a little bit bigger than this. It actually weighed a little bit more than this too though. And uh, one of the things I liked about it was the wires on the older model came up through the top so that everything was uh, here. So that you don't have to worry about the uh, the wires getting messed up inside of the, the post because it's going to be you know, moving around. But uh, so this is what I got in the mail and I was like okay Sorry, it's not that bad. Um, what it is, they're 80 bucks a piece. And then I got to putting the uh, the uh, actual turbine blades together. As you can see, I got them all put together. One thing I didn't like about this was this uh, the blade center, whatever you call that, is actually. Uh, type of fiberglass looks like so it looks like it looks like fiberglass but I'm not sure what what even what that is uh, it doesn't look as sturdy the old one which is the exact same size actually had a metal uh, centerpiece this one's kind of dirty because it's been outside for you know several years um, that's, and it's still in really good condition, considering that it fell off one time. Uh, as you can see, the bolt here is missing on this side. And uh, it just completely fell off, and I ended up putting a new bolt on this side to kind of hold it in place. Because this actually bolted into the center of the other one. And the engine drive shaft went down in there and just bolted straight to it. But uh, that being that that's not metal... I don't know how that's going to hold up. Um, seems like they're making them cheaper. So this seemed like it was a bit more sturdy. I don't know. We'll see how it how it works. This one lasted like two years. And the only thing that's wrong with it is the engine wore out right here where the... Uh, where the drive shaft comes through it actually wore along the bottom I guess the weight of the of the turbine itself the blades kind of shifted forward because it kind of pushed the engine 
basically down. So I'm working on, I'm going to fix the old one by uh, just replacing the engine on it. But now that I have two new ones, so I'll have three turbines by the time it's done with. But uh, I just wanted to make a video on this before I installed it. And uh, then we'll do a run test and see, you know, it just seems to me like, I don't know, I just, it, it feels like they're made a little bit cheaper than the originals. But I don't know who who knows it may last longer. But I don't know if anybody has one of these. Uh, I'll definitely check out some videos and see what's up. But that's what I got so far. All right, take it easy. Peace.